Okay, so welcome everybody. Welcome to a new human experience podcast. Today is March the 4th, 2021. And the topic for this evening is called unboxing. And I picked this topic because I, um, like the whole of, of 2021 is disclosure, or I should say the theme of 2021 is disclosure. And um, so for March, for, for March, I actually want to, um, because I can actually feel, I, uh, as much as I feel a little bit of that, last year and and also beginning of the year in 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 january and february however in march or or at the very least at the end of of february it's it's like already feel this this tension growing up grow like really wrapping up and this pent up energy so all this pent up energy that i felt it's it's that's why I want to um, make March or the, th the whole theme of March to be called unboxing because I think all the, the this energy is actually um, helping us, assisting each and every one of us to burst open, to bust open. And, 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 why, and why are we being um, facilitated to burst open? And what it is that we we are um, bursting open to, so that's why I want to actually um, devote all of of the episodes on in March to be around that because um, this this trend is actually right now it's still under the surface. However, starting in April. Um, certainly May and, and June, it's only going to be um, even more so. It's no longer going to be in, in, the, the, in the background. It's going to, the energy is actually pushing us to burst out so that um, by sometime April or at the very least um, um, later part, mid or late, later part of, of April, that's when like all these pent up energy is going to be released some way, one way or another, how it is. Um, I think it's, it's, there are so many things that are so in the works that I'm not going to um, kind of predict. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually set the stage up so that you you have an understanding of why why all this needs to burst open and and so so this so that's why um, I'm going to talk about more about our um, I would say our um, Anunnaki past. Uh, the all that um, I would say in the next couple of weeks, maybe maybe next week or uh, at the very least week after, we'll, we'll talk about that and what all of that is going to um, what does that mean for us? So this week, though, I actually want to talk about something that is more um, setting the stage. Um, it's even though the theme is unboxing, however, I actually want to talk about structure. So structure is, is you can, I can think of that as being the box. So the structure is the box. And so the rest of this month, we're gonna talk how to you know, get out of that box. So the unboxing process, but before we unbox, I wanna actually talk about the box, which is the structure. So what do I mean by structure? So first, uh, I just want to give kind of a definition of what structure is. So a structure is really two or more parts or points that are working together or has to or is in relationship to each other. So that's that's the definition of what a structure is. 
I, I would explain more about that because you know the 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 definition is maybe not very um, descriptive, but I will give more examples as I go on. So that's what a structure is. And um, and in so I actually just want to give a, a um, example of what a structure is. So if you look at your own hand, that is an example of a structure. So you have a palm and there are five fingers attached to your palm and your palm is attached to your wrists and your arm and then your arm to the rest of your body. So this is the, the structure of your arm is that you have all these different bone structures which end in a palm being attached to fingers. And so that is the structure. So that's what I mean by structure is really two or more parts. Um, for example, each of your finger is a part and they work together or they have a, they, there is some way that those structures, each of the parts is relating to each other. So if you look at your own arm, that is a, an example of what a structure can be. And so that's, that's kind of um, an example. And so why, why would I bring up structure? It's because um, I actually want to talk more about, so that's our arm is a structure. So what kind of structures are there? Because there are so many different kinds of structure. And I want to actually give something that is very high level, def, um, like, uh, um, high level about the kinds of structure, different kinds of structure. The, the first kind of structure I want to talk about is oscillating structure. So what do I mean by an oscillating structure? An oscillating structure is, for example, a swing. If you know what a swing is or a, um, a rocking chair, that's also a, a structure that's an oscillating structure and that is back and forth. And it's meaning that when you um, give energy into a structure that is oscillating structure, it will go back and forth like a swing like a rocking chair. It does not actually go anywhere. It starts to go somewhere. And then at some point it will come back though. So it's a back and forth kind of structure. So that's one kind of structure. And then another kind of structure is a stuck structure. So um, example of a stuck structure is a fence, for example. So the, uh, the fence of, if you, um, let's say a fence of a garden, that's a fence. So that's a, st a stuck structure. The, the, the use for a stuck structure is to keep things in place, which means that if you, if you put energy into a stuck structure, it will not move. That is the way that the structure is supposed to do. It's supposed to not move and keep things in. So that's a stuck structure. And then there's third kind of structures, which is a flowing structure. So a, an example of a flowing structure is a ball. For example, a, um, it could be a golf ball, a small, like a golf ball, or it could be something that is like bigger, like a, um, a basketball. So bigger, like a basketball. So why is it a flowing is if you push or if you hit a golf ball, it will go in a direction that your energy um, the way you put energy into it, if you put energy into a flowing structure, it will move in the direction that the energy is, is being pushed towards. So that's those, those are three kinds of structures. So what is, what are the, the relationship? Why am I bringing up these three kinds of structures? 
it's um, it's really to to think of our situation in in our life because we we have structures um, how our body is is a kind of structure but then structures does not necessarily have to be physical it can be non-physical your mindset is also a structure our character is also a structure so how do you know whether a um, a non-physical structure is an oscillating, a stuck or flowing structure. So to give an example of what an oscillating um, structure um, uh, is, uh, 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 an oscillating but non-physical structure is, for example, if you want to create something, let's say, oh, I want to create um, I want to create a new business, for example. Um, so creating something, it starts in your mind. It really starts in your mind. So how do you know whether you have a mindset that is oscillating, a stuck mindset or a flowing mindset? So you may or may not know. Sometimes, because a lot of times, you um, you hope or you want to believe that you have a flowing mindset. However, if you just observe when you try to create something, if you um, want to create a, a business, for example, you want to you don't have business right now, but you want to create the business. So your mindset, when you look in at your mindset, if you can actually, let's say, um, in a fairly easy and short time frame, after you've set your, your um, goal to create a business, and you actually have a business created, and it's beginning to work, and it's, it's bringing clients in, and giving, and, and you know, whatever results or rewards that you want to get from that business, you are starting to get and it's actually going, getting more and more, then you know that you your mindset is a flowing structure mindset. However, if you want to create a business, but you, um, but if you have trouble doing that, let's say one week you are able to get one or two clients and then the next week or the week after nothing crickets nothing happens and then you have a momentum and you do a whole bunch of work and then you get a few more new clients and then the next week or uh, the next couple of weeks crickets again if you have this kind of um, results that's back and forth, back and forth, so that for a fairly or reasonably long time, you still just back and forth, then you know that your mindset is an oscillating mindset. And if it's stuck, that means if you want to create a, a business, no matter what you do, it's like nothing happens. You can't even get to um, getting like writing the, the proposal or you can't even, for whatever reasons, you can't even get that far. You, and or maybe you actually, you know, you do all the steps, but no clients is coming, no business is coming in. And so that's, if that kind of persists for a while, then you know that it's, you have a stuck structure in your mindset or the way that you set the business up is a stuck structure. So that's how you know how it is for non-physical things, how to, to, to find out what kind of structure you have. So then now that I have um, described these, so how is that relevant uh, or how do we get from a stuck 
or a an oscillating structure into a flowing structure because at the end of the day we as human beings we as creators we want to be able to think of something set a go and be able to you know put efforts starting to take action towards it and to have it go towards the direction of what it is that we want to create however we don't always get that so let's take um, a closer look at what mix what is re what it is really that makes a structure oscillating versus a structure that is stuck versus a structure that is actually flowing so let's let's just take a closer look at it so if you really dissect what the what creates an oscillating creation um it is when you that's a lot of that's a lot of that's a lot of reasons why a structure or a mindset that you have um the beliefs a set of belief systems that you have can keep you in the oscillating structure of creation where you put effort in it, but you can only go so far before it comes back again and you're back to square one, because that is kind of frustrating. Um, and, and if you and if you look at it, it's for so if we say that um, current so what it is that you have now is is the current reality and then what you want is the desired reality so we can kind of say we can kind of um have in mind that current reality is of course different from our desired reality. It is because we want something that is different from what we have in like in this moment right now. So current reality is different from desired reality. And if you look at identity, so who you are right now versus who you are when you have your desired reality most of the time what we have is that we hold the, the the thought that okay i am not happy with what i have now so the identity is i'm not happy with my current relation my current reality and i imagine that you know when i get my desired reality i would be happy so the desired reality identity is also not equal to the current reality. So when you have both the identity, the current identity and the current reality not equal to the desired reality and the desired identity, then that's how you set up a, an oscillating structure. And let me put it in another way, um, give you an example. For example, if you want, let's say I have, um, let's say a, a rather relevant, um, I would say example is that we, um, right now we, we have some illness. Let's say we have some illness in our body right now. And, and so, The desired reality is that we don't want to, to have that illness anymore. So that's the desired reality is no illness. And the current reality is that we have this illness. Desired reality is no illness. And the current reality, how we feel about, which is also our, our 
our um, thinking and our identity about the current reality is that we are not happy with the current reality. And in the desired reality where we don't have the, the, uh, the illness anymore, we would be happy. So if you think of that, is that the current reality is a problem and we want to fix it. So we want a solution to the problem. And how our mind works is that when we focus on the problem, when we focus on a problem, any problem, because we are creator beings, whatever we focus on, we would um, give energy to, and we would actually observe that, that reality, um, that into growing and growing more off. So that is why whenever we we're focusing on the problem. We can put all our efforts in to do things to move and, and get away from that problem. But because our focus is still on the problem. So whatever actions that we take, whatever solutions that we seek, it will always have a relationship with the problem. In other words, if we want to create something to solve a problem, then your solution, the, 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 all the possibilities that is included in the solution will always have the problem in it. That is why whenever we focus on problems, whenever we try to create something in order to solve a problem, that is how we create an oscillating structure. Because the actions and all the possibilities that we can conceive of in our mind, we conceive of it in the mindset of the problem. So everything we think of, every actions that we try to get away from the problem still has a relationship with the problem. So that is why we can never get away from the problem. And we may be able to have some, res some results. We may be able to you know, get a little bit further away from or a little bit more comfortable than our current reality. But once we, we get away from the, the, the current situation enough and we stop or we, um, we kind of plateau our, our um, momentum, when our momentum is not increasing, then we'll start to swing back into the problem, closer to the problem. And that is why it will set up a structure of oscillating structure. And that is something that is very important for us to um, really get at. And so that is, that is how we set up a, an oscillating structure. And now the second thing I actually want to talk about is the stuck structure. So um, what is a stuck st structure is that it's, there is no, a stuck structure is that you can put energy into it, but it will not move. So for example, um, So what sets up a, a stuck structure is that if we, let's say current reality, current reality is, is what it is. 
So there can be at least two very obvious reasons that we can set up a stuck structure or stuck reality. The first one is that we, for whatever reason, we did not define or did not come up with a desired reality. So for example, if we, let's say if I, um, let's take the example that I want to create a business. So I don't have a business right now, but you know, I want to make money and I want to make more money. So I want to create a business. So um, how, how would I, so that is, so I try to, um, I try to take actions to create a business. However, if in the back of my mind, I somehow believe that I'm not good enough, I you know who am I to uh, create a business? I am not like Bill Gates. I'm not like Elon Musk. I'm not like all these big, you know, successful businessmen. And um, who am I to to create a business to bring in money? I, you know, if in the back of my mind, whether I consciously know it or I unconsciously believe in those those beliefs, then. I'm actually creating a stuck structure for myself. I can I can do things that you know um, that is actually uh, other people can would do steps to 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 create a business. But if in the back of my mind I have that belief that I'm not smart enough I am you know, who, who, who do I think I am I am you know a certain age or I'm a certain um, gender I'm, I'm you know a woman and who would take me seriously as a businessman who would want to you know do business with me if I have all these beliefs the mindset that that make sure that no matter how much action I take, I will never be able to actually create a business that's going to give me my desired reality that would give me the results that I want. That's one way of creating a very stuck structure for myself. That's one way. And then there's another way, which is um, a little different, is that Let's say I'm a very creative person. I love to create. I love to paint. I love to knit. I love to um, <clears throat> go jogging. I love to um, plant flowers. I love to bake. One minute I would say, oh, I'm, I want to create a business. And then I wake up tomorrow and all of a sudden a friend of mine calls me and say, hey, what a beautiful day, let's go for a walk. And I would say, oh yes, let me go look at flowers. Let me go look at, and let me go and talk to my friends so we can you know, um, be more creative together. So, and then, and then the third day, um, someone else would, would say something to me. So, so each day there are things that I want to do that distracts me so much that I never actually got to do the things that I needed to do in order to set up a business, which is my desired reality. So that's another way to create a stuck structure. Not that I don't have, um, not that I, I have any beliefs that I can't do it. I can do it, but it's just that there are so many things that I can do. I can bake. I'm, I'm a great baker. I can um, knit. I'm, you know, I can knit like it's the most creatively, the most beautiful sweaters. So each day there are so many things that I am good at doing that I know I can do and I, I go do like I have too many desired reality. I wanted to do business, I wanted to play, I wanted to be creative. 
so many things. That's another way of creating a stuck structure because I do a little bit of everything, but I never create something that is going to tick, that is actually going to give me all of my desired results. So um, that's another way of creating a stuck structure. So how do you get out of a stuck structure? Well, the only way to move a stuck structure is to break the structure. So this, the, um, I hope um, when I'm describing the, the oscillating and the stuck structure that um, bells are ringing off in your mind because <clears throat> why are we feeling all these pent up um, feelings inside is because we, our society is actually set up in a, an oscillating or a stuck structure. Um, it's an oscillating because we, uh, as a society, we are very focused on problem solving. And when we solve and we, when we are so good at solving a problem, we would always create problems because, well, when you focus on a problem, you actually give more energy to the problem. And the problem, like one problem, may, we may be able to get away from a problem a little bit but then we create another problem and another problem. So that's a, a, an oscillating structure. And then the stuck structure is because we've been living in the inverted matrix for such a long time. Um, our, the way that we are educated, the way that we are um, programmed to function in this society is in a stuck structure. There's no room for us to be who we truly are naturally. Everything is unnatural to us. That's why we have created a very nice oscillating stuck structure for ourselves. And so that is why there is so much pent up energy right now is because <clears throat> we as a, um, as a collective, as a human collective, we, our stated desire is to shift and all these pent up, all the, the, the events that's happening now is actually the energy supporting us to get to the point where we have to break all the structures that we've been, um, and the structures need not be physical structures, not, not, it's also our mindset structurally as well, our programs, all of those, we, we are all being pushed to the limit and we all being get to the point where we are done with all these yo-yoing back and forth. Oh, we are in lockdown this week, this month, this year, and then next month we're not. And then when the numbers goes up again, we have to lock down again. And then when there is the first wave and now there is other different strands of, of the, uh, the virus that's popping up. So that's actually showing us the our oscillating structure and our stuck structures are not supporting us. And we are all being cooked, pressure cooked to the point where we are going to burst out sooner or later. 
So that's why that's what I want to explain why within each of us we have this feeling of okay I'm like I it's like I have to shout I have to scream I have to just go out and do whatever it is that I needed to do in order to um, break out of all this mode so that is where we are at right now is is the um, we've been oscillating and we've been stuck for a long time and we are not um, accustomed to this flowing structure we're not accustomed to it and actually we have so much fear about change the the fear of change is so big that um we we're not ready to flow yet but that will come when we get when we have enough of the the oscillating and the stuck structures whether it is in our um, social system or in our mindsets when we get to the part where we completely saturated with the oscillating and the stuck structure that's when we will all um get to flow. So that's all I would like to talk about this evening. And so let's 